Well, you know, you, you can direct people to standard data viz literature, Edward Tufte, and, and read those books um, and get a sense for the, how to pack complex information into a, a small space, um, how to use shapes precisely. I would say, I would, I would tell everybody who's interested in data viz to really learn how color is defined. Um, most people think, people know color is complicated. Uh, anytime anybody tried to print a photo, they realize that that photo doesn't look very much like the photo in the camera. It doesn't look very much like the photo in the, the, the scene in real life. What has happened? That there are some technical details, but for the most part, people's experience with colors probably ends at the RGB slider. Um, but there is so much more in the way that, that, that colors are defined that has to do with how we perceive color. And that's directly usable in how we encode data into color. And not enough people pay attention to it. Um, although many people do, many tools support it, but, but I think that's a great place to start because it is, takes something relatively simple and unpacks it and shows you technical details are coming up that you can use. So, um, you know, make color your friend and then at the same time never use it. <laughs> Only use it when you must. Try to do everything in, in black and white. And be, uh, be, be critical and be observant of everything that you see. Evaluate it for its information payload. See what it's doing. See what the attitude is of, of uh, a data visualization. You know, you see some obnoxious bar chart and the bar chart, you look at it and you, you, you can tell it's making an argument from authority. It, it, it doesn't have a good idea that, that is apart from it. And it says, no, you, you'll listen to me. You know, I'm a pie chart and a financial report. It's the bottom line. It's the way it works, right? They're always pie charts. I don't know why they're always pie charts uh, of your, you know, your, your, your portfolio breakdown. It's like, seriously, why doesn't, why? I know it adds up to 100%. Um, look at it and go, you know, I, I, think, I think I might write to my bank about their use of pie charts. And I, but I'm not just going to complain. I'm going to redesign this, this report page. And I'm going to say that um, I took some time. I thought this might be better. Uh, it's certainly better for me. Uh, I enjoyed doing it. Just FYI. Do it that way. So I engage in the things around you that you think stand improvement, but always offer a better solution. Um, and, and, and do it. A, a lot of people ask people, what, what do I do when I'm interested in something? You know, I'm interested in surviving. How do I do it? I'm interested in food. How do I do it? Well, you just Google it. There's no, there's no, the, the, the people who've been doing it for a long time don't know more than you do. They just have more experience around it. They've picked up some, some, some details, but they're, they still really don't know where to go. They're still trying to scratch out some information of, you know, in the vast space of information that will direct them. And actually, that process of figuring out how to pursue your interest is very hard but must be done. If that's short-circuited with an answer, that's not the full experience because it has none of the frustration of the full experience. And I don't think that it, it, it builds a kind of grit and a kind of uh, uh, resistance to being upset by the fact that you don't understand something because you've been, uh, you've been confused for so long that you're just used to it, you know. When I was doing things that were difficult, hard math, I was always confused. I was always confused and I got used to it. Didn't bother me anymore because it could, I couldn't, I didn't have enough more energy. And so at some point, just old confusions turned into insight. And then, you know, the black f fog of future confusions rolled on you and you were always in some kind of a confusion fog. So, so I would say, um, 
just keep keep reading about it and just keep googling about it uh, and you will find something that stirs a passion inside you you will find some something that 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 holds your attention more than other things be be, be mindful when that happens and follow that and don't be afraid to tell people that you love this when you're at a party and you have that conversation possibly about the weather say stop to someone who's telling you about the weather say I don't want to talk about the weather um, let's talk about meteorology right, let's talk about air movement you know let's talk about pressure did you know that whatever and and then you 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 wind up talking about what you're passionate about yes you lose lots of friends people think you're strange that's fine you didn't want those people in your life anyway <laughs>